Hello everybody, this is Virtual Farmer Ken Bob. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And we are on the new Bartle Shagan map 2022. Uh, and as you can tell, I haven't really made any changes in my uh, play. Uh, I'm going on ahead and keeping this uh, the play current to where I'm at on the series I uh, haven't really heard anybody uh, comment back about the ideas that I presented about uh, whether or not we wanted to run this uh, everything I did on recording or do off camera work and just come back and keep the progress but not necessarily show it so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to keep the progress and show it at this time, mainly because uh, I just kind of want to be able to uh, keep some continuity on it. And uh, I do have an idea as far as uh, goes for showing what I'm doing. And there is some new mods out. One of those new mods was... Uh, uh, helper administration and I think that is exactly what I've been looking for <laughs> one of my biggest problems with using helpers uh, while doing any kind of video series has always been kind of the cost I don't really think that the cost is uh, accurate. I don't know what else word to use. I'm not really sure exactly what it costs to hire a worker. I mean, I'm sure it's based on the hourly rates, but I don't know if there's underlying fees and all that that most farmers have to pay to hire day work. So I, I'm not exactly uh, sure on how they do that so with this mod it gives you the ability to change the amount you pay I think the base game is a thousand dollars an hour based on what this mod was saying and you can lower it down to as much as 150 an hour and I'm not really sure you know how fair that is but when it comes to the game you know where we do want to show expenses we do want to have those and we also want to uh, not necessarily just have an easy life they give you economy settings where you can change it from normal to easy and then hard and I have this set up for normal I believe that's where we're set let's see here yeah normal we've got it set for normal so uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know all the factoring and figures that they work on to come up with those numbers. But in the end, that's really what it is. It's just a number. Uh, so if anybody has any ideas, th thoughts, or concerns about that, please feel free to share with me your opinions on this. I'm, I'm not trying to uh, basically uh, just... Do what I want to do without anybody's input I welcome anybody's input on what it would take to make this series uh, interesting to you uh, and where people would be you know basically just enjoy themselves if money is an issue and you think we should struggle a little well you know that's possible but in a real world setting that would be the case so I don't have a problem with that if we need to struggle then I, I am more than happy to do that. Uh, I'm not real familiar with FS22. I have had it for, well, I've had it since it came out. But as far as a bunch of the s different ways it's run, I have not done productions yet on any of my play. So uh, it's a learning thing for me. So unfortunately, I hope it doesn't bother you. That there's a little bit of a learning curve on my part uh, so we're going to you know go through this together and hopefully we'll have fun along the way 
and hopefully I'll gain more people that want to see and you know want to watch me struggle <laughs> if nothing else but uh, at any rate I hope you're enjoying the series I hope you'll have your friends you know come and watch check it out uh, I know this isn't everybody's thing but you know if you know somebody that likes this kind of stuff then I'm more than happy to uh, welcome them to the family but I think we're gonna go ahead and dump this off here since we're on an uneven row or uneven line dump this off here and go up here and uh, put the hired help to work for the first time in this series and the reason why that stopped is the trailer is full so we'll go over here and make sure we don't have I might run one more time. I think that's what I'll do is I'll run back down this edge one more time just so we give them plenty of room to turn around. So let's head up this way. And then that'll also let him work back towards this end. But once we get this started on his uh, worker help, then we're going to go and get us a basically check out our field and just start where we need to start on that to get it to, into planting uh, state got to look at the planting map but I think we're going to try wheat in that field first I believe that's what I said in the last time but we need to put some wheat up there and I think we're on the last day for planting so once I get this thing started on his own little path, we're going to go get us a, well, we're going to go get started on that field, whichever we have to do, whether it's cultivating or if we have to go get a, a mulcher and mulch the field. I'm not sure what state it lies in at this point. Unfortunately, I didn't really look at that before I started working this so let's make sure we don't have, and we do, so let's turn that off. I usually like to work with the alternative helper on the combine because it lets it go all the way around the edges of the field. But I think this time I'm just going to put the hired helper to work. And we'll just let him, let them drive the rows here so let me check out that field and see where we're sitting okay the field we own is up here on field 12 and current state it's not showing anything just says cultivated and it does need plowing so I guess that's where we're gonna start and yes we do have a plow and 2.5 meters I mean I I like to have something a little bit wider than that but at this particular point I think that'll probably do us good so Let's uh, head back over to the shop real quick. Okay, we're here at the shop. We've got our, let's see, what tractor are we driving here? Looks like we're in the 4755. Can't remember how much that was. I think it's 190 horsepower. Yes, 190 horsepower, and I believe that, uh, didn't we just say 160? Yes. Okay, so let's go back, and we'll go over here and pick up our plow. And we're nearly full on that harvester, so just as soon as we get over here, we're going to have to go back and get the trailer. And we're going to have to go unload that. Unload the trailer once we get it.
Okay, so let's take this over. I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and drive this over to our field. Get the hired helper started on the field. And then we'll go take care of that combine. I know we're paying the combine to sit. But when we go back, we'll uh, dismiss the worker. We'll dismiss the worker while I go unload the trailer. And that'll keep from having to keep paying. We'll just say that they're going to lunch. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. And send them on their lunch break a little early. Normally I would let the harvester keep working while we go take care of the trailer, but unfortunately due to poor planning on my part, the trailer is almost full. And we're gonna need a trailer, you know, full an empty trailer in order to get that uh harvester empty. I don't think anybody's coming and we can just go straight across here. So I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and start this end down here and just let it go up the long end. I realize uh, typically you want to start on the short ends, but I'm sure we're going to have to do this in several different uh, paths. Because the way this field is laid out, there's a lot of uh, sudden starts and stops, islands and so forth. So, going here and we'll turn off the AI. Okay. There's also a mod that allows you to keep track of the active contracts. Well, Alt-H changes your alternative. Hey, <laughs> I keep turning the engine off. Uh, Alt-H sets your alternative helpers uh, start uh, on and off mode and so forth. And then Alt-M changes your uh, contract mo uh, not con yeah contract the uh, HUD you can look up in the top right by the bar up there that shows the weather and the date uh, the time up there on the kind of the right side of the f uh, screen and you can see it's going on it shows the progress and then this shows the progress without a bar and then that's off so anyways <laughs> I play with those things a lot I'm the kind that I like to keep a constant eye on what's going on I did not realize this was going to be that far off from one edge to the other on a straight path but I guess looking at it this way you can tell so probably the thing I'll do is once he gets down here, I'm going to send him on a left path. I think the AI workers try to turn right if they're given the option to go either way. I think they choose right, but we'll find out. Where's he going? That's not a good thing. We might have to put the AI worker or the AI assistant. Okay. Because on that you can set the turn, set it to go left or right. I think if we do this right here, uh 
don't know how that tree's going to affect everything. Yeah, we're gonna have to come around the edges when we're done and clean up all that. I'm sure it's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna show that it's not done. Good. That way we'll be able to tell. So, let's go ahead and switch back over to the other tractor. And we'll go catch up with the combine real quick. Okay, here we are back in this tractor. I wonder what part of the... No, well, you can't see him from here. It's too far away. But it looks like he's directly across from us based on the map down at the bottom. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're full. I forgot. We already had a full trailer. Uh, where is that? Am I going the wrong way here? Sure am. That's just not real great. I forgot we were turned around. We weren't heading the same direction this combine was earlier. Guess I'm gonna have to call this one we're lost again. even with a little slight hiccup on getting turned around on ourselves we made it to the dump site well storage site so we'll go in here and dump this off And we didn't dump, uh, turn the harvester off, so for those who were screaming foul, <laughs> like, no, don't not pay him. He's still there. He, just because he's full doesn't mean he's not on the clock. So this is true. Maybe this was probably the fairest way to do it. But once we get loaded up with the combine this time, we're just going to have to turn around and come right back over here immediately. Because this trailer only holds 10,000. Whereas that combine holds... Uh, I'm sorry, this trailer holds 8,000. While the com uh, combine holds 10,000. So it's definitely something. Oh, hey, do you see that? <laughs> I tell you, they sped up the cars on this and turned them into superpowers. I guess they've always been superpowers since 2000 or uh, Farming Simulator 19. I don't know what it was like before that. I've heard that the cars used to be able to be knocked off their path, but that's just crazy whenever you hit a car that it bounces you back like that. Okay, and they just go a little bit too fast now. Farming Simulator 19 was too slow, and I know people complained about that. But the speed the cars go now, well, I don't know. I don't care for it. I think just about halfway in between where it was and where it is right now would probably be more, I don't know acceptable to me. I don't know about anybody else, but personally, I think they go too fast. 
I would rather have to fight my way around cars than to make a corner and then instantly there's a car right on top of you. Now, given due credit, I did not check before I pulled out in traffic, so that's my fault. But I still don't like how fast they go. Bad enough about that. <laughs> we'll collect this up and then we'll go take it over to the storage and uh, we'll see you uh, here shortly. Okay, here we are back at the storage again. Something I forgot on that contractor uh, mod that checks the status of contracts and so forth. If you uh, open the contract, you can kind of tell what the contract is going to make you. See if I can do this right. Go down here and then click details on. So this contract, once it's done, is going to make us $77,000. I don't where see where it says the amount paid to the hired help. I don't think it shows that. Unless that's what that amount is right there. Because I think that whenever you have it on the other, uh, like a seeding mission or a, something like where you got to buy fertilizer or something, I th think that tells you how much it's going to cost you. So, I'm not sure on that, uh, unfortunately. This is a new thing to me. I watched a review on it by Farmer Klein. And I can't remember everything he said about it. But anyhow, that's going to be about what we'll make right there with the uh, amount that we get for the contract plus the leftover product. Because it doesn't, on contracts, it doesn't use everything that... Uh, Why is it telling us contract on fill 2 is 10% completed? I didn't sell that. Unless that's just how it does. Go down here and look at it again. I thought it said that work filled 12%, progress 10%. So I'm not sure. Not sure what the difference is. I mean, I realize that the field uh, is eight is like eighty four percent of the progress on contracts, and then the other sixteen percent is the getting it delivered. So that's that's probably what the difference on the values there is. Is the fact that it's not it's just figuring the field amount that's done and not the total contract. We could look at the contract that we're doing on the other hired helper, but it's not a contract. That's our field, so I don't know how to check progress on the actual field being done on our own fields. But maybe we'll learn that as we go. Kind of one of the nice things about doing it this way is I mean, I, I understand I'm revealing, you know, the fact that I'm ignorant whenever it comes to gameplay on Farming Simulator 22, but we can learn together. If I get enough people, you know, hey, some people have experiences that I haven't had yet. You know, I'm 
I'm, I'm not a hundred percent immersed into this game. I personally am not trying to knock the game. It's a really good game. I enjoy it, but I still like 19 better. <laughs> There's some things about 19, I mean about uh, 22, that to me, they're just not quite where I like them yet. But that's a story for another day. Uh, right now, I think we're going to jump back over in our other tractor and see how we're doing there. Well, call that perfect timing. Looks like we got here just about the right time. It's coming right down to the end here, and I wonder if it's going to stop or... Nope. It's done. Alright, so let's... Uh, I don't want to fold it. I want to turn it. There we go. Pull up the map and kind of look at it. Yeah, this whole... This whole part right through here, we got to just... I don't know how much of it we're going to need to do, but let's drop our plow and head on down here. See if we can get this whole ledge in one pass or if it's too far in to do that. I don't typically drive in cab and this might stall. Yeah, I'm not really liking that view either, so I think we'll just go back out of the cab. But, wow, look at that. There's a lot of grass that we're plowing up. I don't think I have Field Creator on. Allow Create. No, it's not on. So, I wonder what that's all about. Maybe we better come back down that way a little bit deeper into it. Let's see how far out we're going. No, I guess we won't because it's not letting me cut into the grass that's not uh, part of the field. So that's proof right there the allow create fields isn't on. Just a lot of grass growing in the field, I guess. I don't really care for it being right against that culvert. I can't, I don't know. Well, I guess it's not too deep, and I don't see a cover edge. Now I know I put it in drive. Alright, now that that's going again, let's. Uh, it still didn't get it all. I, I knew I should have come back through here a couple more times. But I think what I'm going to do is this is going to be a very boring on-camera job to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I will get this field taken care of completely on the plowing be off-camera. I'm not going to bother doing it on-camera because that would just get very boring so I think at this point let's go back over to the harvester at this point I think what I'm gonna do let's release the hired helper so I can drive this over to that trailer I'm gonna go ahead and finish the plowing job off camera and I'll go ahead and let this uh, combine keep working here so probably what I'll do is go ahead and finish this field also off camera so I know I said earlier we were just gonna go ahead and keep doing it like we've been doing it but this is I it, it's just seemed like anymore I'm trying to keep these at 30 minutes or under the videos because I know uh, 
people don't really have a whole lot of time to sit and watch a video, especially if all we're going to do is one job or a part of a job over six episodes. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this field off, get this taken care of, and then I'll get number uh, field nine plowed up off camera. And then we'll meet back uh, on the next job. So at this point, I think that's going to be uh, it for the day. Uh, hope you're enjoying the series and that you'll continue to return for each episode. Uh, I know I'm having fun. I know it doesn't seem like we're really making a lot of progress, but I'm, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I know uh, there's not really much going on, but for what we're doing, there's a balloon right there. For what we're doing, uh, I'm really enjoying this, and I, I think I like this map. So, I'm going to go ahead and drive this tractor up and drop it off, and uh, I guess we'll finish all these uh, jobs we got going off, going on, and I will see you on the next episode uh, until we see each other again you all have a great day and stay safe out there